Alrighty. So, this was not part of the plan, but we are indeed here. So I guess uh, we'll be starting stream like this. Uh, I was planning on doing some grinding. If we get to the gym today, I'm not going to have any answers for the fighting types. But uh, as you can see, uh, I was just collecting berries before stream. And random shiny. What if it's flame body? Oh, we got the para. Dude, this is already shaping up to be a great stream. But today, uh, maybe this will be the intro. The plan's pretty simple. Um, we're going to figure out what Big A's up to. And we are going to foil whatever it is. And then after that, uh, we at least get to the next gym city. But yeah, first things first, we catch the shiny in the first Pokeball. Uh, then we deal with uh, a news report battle that I missed. Then we... Uh, I'm not going to do any more grinding since I've decided to start stream. So we'll do the rival battle. Then we'll tackle, tackle Team Galactica. And then we'll end it at the next city. So if any of that interests you, uh, stay tuned. And if you're feeling so frisky, you should go ahead, leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe. Or comment down below the name you want for this Pokemon. Um, it's the lava Pokemon. It's white. It's shiny. Its body is made of magma. If it doesn't keep moving, its body will cool and harden. Well, it is a female. Uh, I always forget the name of this Pokemon. But that's okay. So let's think about it. A female shiny. Um, any ideas? Hmm. You know, I'm thinking classic ones. Like, uh... I don't know if that's very appropriate. I was going to say Ligma. I feel like that's a classic one. You know, I'll obviously cut all of this out later. These Nuts is probably a good one. It's a Slug. Escargo? If only I was so... Uh, clever. But we'll do Smelga. And you know what? Uh, I, like I said, I was getting berries, but shoot! Shoot, we can do more than explore. Uh, yeah, I was grinding happiness on this Munchlax, which has been an ordeal, but uh, we're done grinding. Uh, like I said, we have no answers for the fighting type gym. <laughs> I was training up our answers before stream, I know. I said I would do it all on Monday, and I did do grinding on Monday. Uh, you'll see the box, and you'll see we've got some powerful Pokemon in the PC. But yeah, I can't believe... You know what's crazy? That's within like 100... Uh, I shouldn't say within 100. Actually, that's a total lie. <laughs> oh god. Okay, we're not losing... <laughs> we're not starting stream to loot. Like I said, we're not starting stream <laughs> to lose a Pokemon here. So, uh, <laughs> let's uh, switch on out here. But Oh yeah, as you can see, this Croconaw's gotten levels on it. I uh, didn't realize it evolved at 36, so it's not going to be too useful to us. Although Intimidate is cool, but it doesn't have the Dark Typing. And Dark Typing is not going to be useful for the Fighting Gem. Uh, we do have Galactica stuff, and to be honest with you, I haven't really prepared for the Galactica stuff. The only thing I've prepared for is this uh, tr rival fight, which we've got an interesting strat for. Wait, did I get the berries? I watered them, they weren't done. Uh, we do have a good amount of berries. But uh, this is a fight we're going to do, and I hope we get the Pokemon if it's like the other reporter ones. I don't know if this appeared after we beat the gym or if they were always there, but uh, let's get rid of the speed up here. So we've got the terrible Chinchou that we caught with terrible IVs. We've got uh, the Bronzong. We've got a Quilava. Uh, what else do we have? We've got Smelga. What's your nature? Neutral, alright, that's pretty bad. Magma armor. Does that turn into shell armor? There's no flame body. You do know will o wisps so you know what? And ancient power. Um cool. Cool smelga. Uh probably won't be using you. But speaking of shinies, um if you're not keeping up with my Twitter, I caught this while I was grinding. 
Uh, Sting Saber. Here are the stats of Sting Saber. Uh, they haven't done much fighting, and given that they uh, aren't anywhere near where they need to be, uh, we probably won't be using them this stream. Uh, we could bring the Lantern. Um, initially the plan was Cradilly, but we will bring Cradilly as well. Um, who else are we bringing? Probably the Hariyama. Uh, oh yeah, but Lopunny Evolved. I think they're maxed on EVs. I could be crazy. Wait, they have Scrappy? That's actually great. Hold on. Hold on. Scrappy Return? That's kind of sick. <gasps> Lapuni can hit! Um. Ah, uh, Spirit Tomb. That's the name of the Pokemon. Lapuni can hit Spirit Tomb for super effective. That's cool. And actually, aren't they normal fighting? They sure are, so that. You're actually a pretty good Pokemon. Oh, like I was saying, I think their EVs might be maxed out. They killed a bunch of uh, Merrells. Killed a bunch of Merrells. Um, we also beat up a trainer who used two Zubats a lot, so their EVs are probably all over the place. Uh, the Bronze are Bronzong. Bronzong, what am I saying? Definitely coming. I have no idea how close he is to evolving. Probably not at all, because she had to get to 31 to do so. Um, Crobat. Crobat's the Pokemon I'm thinking of. I was like, we're missing a Pokemon here. Yeah, how is your day going, chat? Oh wait, it was Cordilly. Is Gyarados useful in this fight? Yeah, Arjuvia has cute charm. Ooh, I had a screenshot I wanted to show off. Uh, maybe I'll just tweet about it. Uh... The joke is, as soon as Juvia <laughs> hit level 10, she was able to learn Swallow. And that was just a funny image. It said, Juvia would like to learn Swallow. Um... But yeah, uh, no matter how strong that Heracross is, he is not living a that- Oh, I forgot. We were supposed to do this battle. And I kind of remember, uh, it's Curlia, yeah, yeah, we'll be fine here. Alright, so let's do this. Giggle, giggle, could you win it against both of us? The answer is yes. We'll thoroughly check out your abilities as a trainer. And I don't know what this battle is for. Roxy and Ollie. Yep. But we've got a good setup for this. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, he knows Block for some reason. Or I should say they. Why is that? Uh, the idea is how to. Wait, Lava Plume hits all three? Oh god. Ooh, no. That's kind of cringe. I didn't know that. Um. <laughs> Well, I mean, he's heat proof. I got, you know what? I should have done it. I should have loved Lava Plumed and just been confident. Think of. Ooh, thank God that metal sound missed. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, Berserk's gonna eat it up. No. Huh. We're not in as good as a situation as I thought. I probably could have just Lava Plumed there uh, because our Bronzor is heat proof. And adaptability is strong. But it's a bronze on. I don't think we live in a world where, uh. There we go. So I think the way we deal with this Magneton is pretty simple. We switch out on the fake out and she. <gasps> it's Magnet Pull! <laughs> well. I mean, both of these are stabbed, but this one can make you flinch, so I guess we'll... Okay, we have to fake out. This is something we have to do here. So, go for the fake out. And how much is extra sensory doing? Is it doing 10%? I hope it's doing 10%. We'll see if it's doing 10%. That's respectable. 
Nice leftovers recovery. Uh, a shame your magnet pull once again. Um, man, and we don't have a ground type. Well, Panther, it's still your time to uh, shine, I guess. Oh god, what? No! <laughs> Man, good thing uh, Panther's over-leveled here. Aren't we lucky? Alright, instead of doing any form of setup, we're just gonna send it to the Shadow Realm. Oh, I was thinking Mirror Coat, not Mirror Shot. So I'm actually kind of surprised there. Oh, yes, you know Earth Power. I knew you knew Earth Power. T yes, totally. Totally, totally. That's why I switched. Uh, yeah, Panther had an interesting choice. They could have learned Barrier or Amnesia, or both, and Recover. But then they would only have one attacking move. And I'm not saying that Panther is a baton passing genius, but uh, I don't think that's a good idea. That was a good match. It had Splare and Drama. Wait, what? That's all it was? Boo! I thought she'd give me a Magneton. Because <laughs> I feel like all my transgressions for all the Pokemon I've lost would have been forgiven, you know? Um, and I'm sure you're asking, oh, what about the uh, Rotom and Gengar encounters you're not doing? That is a good concern of yours, and I'm glad you're keeping up Viewer at home. But, uh, we'll get them later. Um, I'm not gonna lie and tell you, oh, if I didn't run into that shiny, I would do those encounters first this stream. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't lie to you. Uh, I was planning to do an next stream anyway. Because this stream was probably just gonna be the gems and other stuff. Okay, good. I was like, am I in the right biker mode? We can leave. And we're leading. We are leading the correct Pokemon. Alright, as long as we don't get a shiny Lunatone. Alright, so we're leading Soundwave here. And our rival will have level 33 Pokemon, so... Wait, is this even the right place? It's, it's just been a minute. Okay, wait. I think it is. Oh, I didn't get the barriers from here. We can still run. No problem there. Ma I think maybe shining your badges helps you get shinies in this uh, ROM hack. I know it ups your encounter rate. But, uh, you know, maybe it does that. We have a bunch of berries. Our citrus berry game is super strong right now. So strong, in fact. I think I'm gonna plant three Ayapapas. I know, crazy as that sounds. Especially since I'm probably never gonna use these Ayapapa berries. But I do think we're in a situation where we have basically enough berries to get us through all the major things we're going to be running into, you know? You know what's also crazy? Um, I think we have encounters to get. I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, chat. But I think we have encounters to get. Oh god, there's no- Alright, we will say dealing with them for later. <laughs> Alright, so... We have Barry to deal with. Um, actually, let's go to the map. Spring's Child, original one. Fair types, don't care. No one has anything important to say? You know the plate items? Oh, what was that? Oh, rest. Oh, rest is actually pretty cool. Okay, that's probably all I get here. Alright, well, I got the TM for rest. What is this? Oh. This is the weird uh, Pokemon walk with you. I mean, I like that about Heart Gold. Alright, and this is a fight. This is a fight. And that's a shame that this is a fight that I'm not prepared for at all. 
But I should be overleveled enough. Wait, what? Can I leave now, video game? I've been told I should go to Route 212, unless there's some other puzzle blocking me. Oh no. The video game can't stop me forever. Oh, here we go. This is probably why it was. Wait, Route 209? Giggity gosh. Oh wait, I'm leading Hariyama! No. Well, actually, wait, this is fine. Actually, I meant to lead Hariyama, chat. You just didn't understand. Because here's why. We're going to fake out. Bam. And then next. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, we're going into Bronze War. And the Staravia, I believe, is Choice Banded. So, we're going for the block, turn one. And flying resists? I mean, we resist flying? Alright. So you might be sitting here wondering, well, he'll just switch out. Not if we... Wait, it's not banded. Well, that did just about less. Well, he won't be switching out. So, guess what we're gonna do, chat? We are going to... Iron the defense. Ooh. You know, I thought he'd be choice banded, like it said in the Renegade stuff. But, um... If he's not, that's only slightly a problem. Okay, good. I was like... Because <laughs> I was like, we at least want to be plus four here. But this is gonna go smoothly, smoothly, smoothly. Uh, not because Bronzor is gonna sweep or anything. Uh, he is heat proof though, so if he is on enough HP, he can technically maybe one shot them on Inferno. Maybe. Uh, I'll hit it with an extra sensory, because his hardest hitting move, I believe, is flamethrower. Wait, you lived? Are you some focus band? Well, I have to... Yep, I knew that was coming. I, uh, did not expect him to live there. At least we have leftovers. You what? Alright. So something very bad could be happening. You know what? I believe... Don't do more than eight. Don't do more than eight. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, but you missed again. Well, actually, wait. We're, we're we're healing more. We're healing more. So unless it crits, unless we get crit here, <laughs> we can play this game all day. All right. Okay. I said we can play this game all day, but we really don't have to. You know, you could just hit him. You know, I'm just going for the wrong move. Hit flash cannon. Just don't get crit. Come on. Alright! Um... <laughs> that did not go according to plan. But, um... We will be switching out here. The AI could do just about anything here for free. Uh, but at least Beller did the thing. Okay, we did go into the Monferno. So, it's time for plan B. Good, I'm like, you don't get pursued by level up or anything. As long as it didn't go for Grass Knight, we're- Grass Knot, we're 100% fine. Okay, good. Uh, if we were on more than 350 HP, I'm, we took that super well. Uh, unless this is a... No, even if you're jolly, I probably outspeed you anyway, so just, uh, Aqua Tail. And you're done. And what do we have next? 
a Breloom. Uh, you are a Fighting Grass type. I mean, I could fake out and then go in the Sound Wave. Uh, that's probably what I should do. Because, uh, I mean, you could go for Leech Seed for all I know. Extreme Speed? Bloom is a much better Pokemon than I thought it was. Um, no way you're like tactician or something. That'd be too crazy. Yep, yep. That's what we wanted. We got that HP back. And preferably you go for anything besides extreme speed here. Because now Soundwave is gonna wipe the floor with you all right you went for extreme speed so maybe you're the banded pokemon maybe that wasn't even a crit but uh thank goodness you're not gonna miss thank goodness you're not going to miss this four times super effective flying move and you're also not gonna get crit all right there is also a heracross but or maybe there is no Heracross. Maybe it's, Oh, it's just the Snorlax, right? Tell me it's just the Snorlax. Okay, there is a Heracross. Alright. So, uh, I'm just gonna Air Cutter? Good. I was like, I could switch out, but your gut... Oh. You're dead. There, There's not a world. What? How hard is this hitting? Oh boy! I uh, didn't know it was that item. I assumed it was Guts uh, Toxic Orb or something. I mean, hey. If that's what you're gonna do, buddy. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. How hard is this hitting? Okay, we take another one of those. So we're gonna fake out, get some more recovery. And that was shakier than I thought it was, but I also didn't exactly know how it was going to be, you know? But yeah, smelling salts uh, will deal with you unless you're packing that uh, close combat. Hey, I, I like the hustle. You went for the knockoff there. Alrighty, and that went swimmingly, if I do say so myself. What just happened? Wah! It goes to show your... Show my surefire winning strategy doesn't work. Oh yeah, his whole thing was evasion. Say, hey Ludwin, remember when I told you before? Make sure all your attacks hit. Avoid every enemy attack. I thought that was a wicked strategy, but it doesn't work. I guess I have to grind it out and toughen up my team. Heal me! Oh, are we in double, double battle time? Mansion. Okay, yeah. I knew I had to go to Route 2, 212. Those marketing goons. Must have decided they want something from there. I'm off to help a lady in distress. Uh, do let me see. It is Trophy Garden. Okay. I do hope we don't do the Lost Tower. Oh no, I can't get... Oh, I can't get Hunters. Darn it, I'm gonna have to catch the Gengar. Or maybe I can avoid the Lost Tower altogether. I hope. I pray I can avoid the Lost Tower altogether. And we just do that next stream. Because I, I need to catch the Gengar before we go to the Lost Tower. Because I also need the Keystone to get a Spirit Tomb. It's it's a whole, whole up ordeal, chat. You wouldn't know about it. You wouldn't know, chat. In all honesty, this could be crazy. This could be crazy, chat. We get Typhlosion. How close are you to leveling? You're not close at all, are you? Yeah, you're not. So we power level you. We get 
you the EXP share? I'm guessing for now. Hmm. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Ooh. Let me just make sure. I mean, we have dark coverage. Do we need a poison type? I know, I know this is super lame. I know what I'm doing now, super lame. But I know it's just you and me right now. So if you don't tell anyone, I won't tell anyone. Mariana, dark types, cricket tune, bug types. Uh, you know what? We're gonna do something a little risque. And we are gonna bring a very underlevel Pokemon. I know we were thinking under level Pokemon, why would we do that? Uh, because I like to play take risks, chat. That is why. The under level Pokemon in question is our good friend, uh, Swablu. Uh, if you're wondering why we're not using Gligar, uh, it's because we can't get Gliscor yet. And Gligar is at the level, I believe. Uh, it's 22 or 23, they get Night Slash as Goliath score. So I need them to be evolved for that. What do I do with the EXP share? Dyke, give it to Torterra, but like actually, I actually give it to Torterra. Alright, well, we're doing it to Swablu now. I've changed my mind. And yeah, and Cindy Flow is just gonna click uh, Lava Plume on literally everything. And we're just gonna help. Help. We're just gonna hope we outspeed. Ooh, wait a minute. Actually, you know what? This is calculated, as the kids would say. Uh, hmm. Uh, this is the dude who leads Dark Types. I think. So, uh, go, go, Hariyama. You don't want to fight? Okay, good. I have to talk to this guy. Alright. Yeah, this is the dude who leads a dark type. Ooh, he did intimidate me, not, though, so it probably would have been better if I just led. Well, if you hit me with a move, you'll be sent to the Shadow Realm. In return. Oh, nice crit. But we're doing well. Woohoo! Nice crit. Uh, we had a rocky start today, but I think we're doing pretty good, if I do say so myself. And I do. And I take a sip of my water. It's what we do every hour on the hour. And kids, this is why. Ooh, you could go for a dark move. That'd be awfully cringe of you to do. Would you go to go for a dark move right here? To go for a resisted dark move, Arbok? You wouldn't do that. You would do that. Are you stockpile spit up? I don't I I I I, I can't comprehend why else you'd be doing this. Oh belt. Belt is probably a poison move in this game. Gunk Shot. Gunk Shot's the move I was thinking of. Um, I was thinking of Belt, but I was thinking of another Pokemon move. I mean, this is normal type, right? <laughs> nice strats, nice strats. Leave it to Drayano here. To come up with interesting- Oh, wait, there were probably jokes. It's Spit Up and Snake. They actually pay it, paid attention to what was being said. Oh, he just have err. I didn't want to lose money. Stockpiling stocks, stunts. Um, who are we leading? Okay, good. Uh, we're gonna figure out whatever it is. Preferably, if I'm being honest with you, we get the uh, shroomish, and it's poison heal. Preferably, we get that exact thing. I could be cruel. No. 
we don't have you. I caught you for a trade, so I can catch you. We're actually gonna go to the PC just to double check here. Uh, just to be doubly sure. Because I will just catch it and release it, because there's just about anything else I would rather have than a cheru than a cheruby. Not even a cherum. We are indeed sick with it. And we'll just call him Cherum. Or Cherub. Cherub. We'll call him Cherub. It's like Herb. Actually, Herb would have been a much better name. Nonetheless, maybe you're pulling some cool item. And it's an excuse to heal our team. Do, 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 do. But yeah, progress, progress, progress. Uh, the levels we get on this very flying type will be less that we'll need for the fighting gym. Alright, so let's make sure I didn't... I don't already have one of you. I'm pretty sure the answer is I don't. So let's turn the speed up off. So you don't have an old item. I do not have... Yep, I don't. Good, good. Good on everyone. Good on all of us. Good, I didn't dupe up. Uh, Trico could have been cool. Trico could have been cool for the fighting type gym, but uh, eh, you know. Trico is what Trico does. Yeah, no. See you again. Alright, let's get a move on, my gamers. Yeah, we had a pretty sick intro, if I do say so myself. Ooh, I can fish here. But can anything I fish from Route 212 be something we haven't already caught? That's the real question. Um, we can only get magic carps and gold beans, both of which we've caught. Uh, yeah, but from this honey tree, we could have gotten shroomish or execute. Uh, chlorophyll's cool. Uh, really hoping for that other Pokemon here. Wait a minute, trophy garden? You can get encounters there? Huh. Wait, maybe this is the trophy garden. Alright, we're gonna speed up and figure out if this is the trophy guard. No, wait, is it? Or is this the breeding place? So many questions. So little time. Let's go ahead and send the floor. Send him to the Shadow Realm. With a love of bloom. I, man, we even crit him. But yeah, this is Sting from Fairy Tale. Ooh, more citrus berries. Uh, you know what? I can lava plume you and you'll just die, I'm sure. I don't know what you have. But I'm sure nothing on your team takes this. Adaptability. Um, everyone who gives adaptability to send a flow. Uh, good on ya. Uh, it's not dual typing, but who needs dual typing when you can... Oh, those are a spear. These are citrus. Oh boy. Ooh, baby. Uh, we can get the killer of all men, Cleffa, in this next route. Citrus, Ayapapa, Fadaz, Obuk, and Nahab, Panap. Couldn't get a fall lot. Uh, we don't care about any of that. We could do double citrus. But instead we'll do Pecha. And we'll plant that juicy Ayapapa berry. I know it looks like we don't have many, but I planted about five. No. Six of these, probably. Uh, you haven't been watered. Don't, don't lie to me, game. But yeah, it says in the meadow or whatever. Okay, that looks like a freaking double battle. Okay, so this is the actual grass. So, um, we're gonna fake out whatever this 
is... Um, unless it's a Star Avia, because we're not catching a Star Avia. Curlia, we already have routes, so we're gonna run. Star Avia, we already have you. Ours is Intimidate as well. Star Avia, that's cool. Oh god. Right, this is a dangerous game. Alright, this is the most dangerous game, as some would say. So, let's go into Gyarados. And we'll just run away. Alright, we're getting up. I'm seeing a lot of Star Avias here. Not enough of, like, the four other Pokemon we could get. One of which is Roselia. Alright, game. I get it. You, you want me to catch these Pokemon. But we already have them. So we're not going to. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think Smeargle takes a fake out. Can I can I just throw a heal ball and catch you? Actually, if all you know is sketch. Actually, yeah, all you should We don't know Sing, so I guess we throw a Pokeball. <laughs> Well, I would rather you just die here than you take a cool Pokemon with you. Um, go go nest ball. Okay, we caught you. Well, I say, are you a man? No, you're female. All right, so I have no ideas. <laughs> um, uh, who's it? A female artist? We could just call him Lisa. Oh, Lisa, Lisa. Let me know a better uh, artist I could have named this after. I'm sure they exist. Surely they do exist. But uh, I did say we could get this Pokemon. It's probably the worst we could get. But you know what? I... No, I could just use Apom. I was going to say I could turn this into like the King Baton Pass Pokemon. With like uh, Spore and sub and i don't know a setup move of some sort but not one that boosts any attacking stats yo if we run into a pokemon that uh, learns cosmic power maybe we use the smeargle maybe we use the smeargle you know uh, probably we'll be using smeargle for the fighting gym you know you know, that, that's just my first uh, thoughts, first impressiones. Speaking of first impressions, uh, Cindy Flo. Uh, yeah, we don't have a single Pokemon that's gonna take a Lava Plume very well. But eh, we'll deal with it. Oh, this. Okay. Oh god. Um, I knew this. And I wanted to bait the rock moves. Yes, yes, indeed. Indubitably. Um, actually... You're the safer switch. I'm like, as long as they're not going for freaking ground moves. But they could be going for ground moves for all I know. Okay, rock slide. You missed? Okay. Uh, just don't do that again. You're dead. Aw, oh, man, I, sh I should have brought the... Who's it? What's it? It knows it's uh, cosmic power. This... Okay. And nothing of value was lost. Aqua Thale. Hits all the time, you know. Alright, Route 210, we need a level 30 Pokemon. Right, I just need to remember that. As well as Route 230. Yeah, Route 230 is kind of cringe. Route 29 is cool. Okay. 
Route 214 is cool. Okay, okay. You know, this isn't so bad. It isn't so bad. I'm, I'm just looking in what we can get in future routes. I'm just complaining, but we've already got a stack of team and such. So we're doing good. What do we do? Only shooting stars. We must tell Commander Bobs that we have an intruder in our midst. Alright, is this. This is where I get the clef, I'm sure. Elixa! Some sort of idol, it would seem. Uh, what I should be doing is finally getting more of the good Pokeballs. Because I do believe I can buy a Greater Balls now. So we will get the juicy Greater Balls. It might have helped us get the Slugma. But we've already got the Slugma. So there's no need when we can buy so many Greater Balls. I say we buy uh, 30 of them. And can we get better repels? We sure can, brother. Alright, now that we've got the repels, we'll stop with the accent. As you can tell, we fought very many trainers to get all the money. We will heal our Pokemon, and I promise to stop with the accent. It's not very good. I don't really even know what I'm doing here. So on that note, I won't offend anyone else. And we'll do the next Pokemon battle. Alright. Um, so... I mean, I, I, I just want... Clint. Yo, Star Ludwin! I'm cleaning their clocks, you dealt with the guards and the mission great, awesome, now let's move, no time to waste. Oh, okay, I thought we were in double battle mode. Wait, what? Do it. Okay, well, it looks like we've got a lot of doors to go through. And good thing I led my adaptability Pokemon. I thought that would have been a fight. Hello, lady. A fair lady does not enjoy this horrible stress. I am locked in here with some awful people in bad fashion since then my happiness has run out somewhere when we're free. What am I to do? Wait. Can I catch that? Can I? Ah, oh, boo. I thought I could... <laughs> I thought I could steal this lady's clefairy. Clef I thought I could steal her peony. Um... Alright, you could go for a dark move. Uh, this isn't good for our IVs, but... Man, Cyndaflow stays critting. Adaptability Typhlosion, everyone. Keep your old moves. Give up. But I free! And I believe they have max speed. Alright, actually, let me look this up. Do I have the Pokemon docs open? Pokemon changes? Does Kalaba learn anything sooner than Typhlosion? Before the next gym. Darn it, I can't. I don't know how to spell Kalava. I do know how to spell Sindo. Sindo. Alright, the answer is I don't know how to spell Sindo. I was wrong. I lied to all of you. Um, I do know how to spell Quill, though. So, surely. Alright, Kalava. Um. Nope. He got extra sensory. Do you learn anything? You get Gyro Ball? Interesting. Um, they both get Flamethrower at the appropriate time, so there's no points in changing any of this, huh? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So you can go ahead and ball. Woohoo! Oh! Yes! The monster that is called Fairy, and let's check a look at those stats. Still adaptability, like he should be. 106 speed. 
Wait, your special attack's hyper buffed. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say, why are you... Is it is it an IV thing? Did I... Did I IV you a lot? Special attack over speed? I do love pressing the lava plume button. Actually, you're not over leveled. Is that an issue? I don't think it is. I don't think it's a real issue. Am I ready? Alright, six turns. Nincada catches Swift. No! Actually, it's fine. Ninjas catch the Swift. Good. I mean, I'll just switch. I'll switch out. We're on three now. Right? Wait, this is one, two. This is the third turn. The last battle was four. Wait, I didn't... Okay, okay, he told me I was on four. So... This is fine. Wait. I'm on four turns. Just don't burn. Wait, that was five. I'm bad at math. Oh, wait, no. Oh, now I did it. Wait, can I not go through? Okay. Well, uh, I just wasn't keeping track of time. <laughs> I guess. Uh, if I was a cool editor, I could do that meme of the dude who sees all the math numbers. When he's trying to figure out what turn order we're on. When the dude before literally told me that I used four turns. But, you know, I thought he said we were on turn four. You know, that's why that's why I thought we did it one early. It's not because I'm bad at math, I promise. I promise it's not because I'm bad at math, chat. That would never be the case. Would I lie to you? Would I lie to my viewers? My one viewer? Who always stops by to listen to my lovely voice, I guess. Or just Twitch lying to me. And again, I say I prefer to believe... That a Twitch is lying. Sunny day, that's cool. Once again, I thought we had the TM for Calm Mind. Like, I feel like that's a TM we had. And it's a shame. Oop. It's a shame if we don't. Safer, that's kind of lame. Um, Alright, we need to stop pressing the adaptability button and play the video game a bit. So. What we're gonna do... I mean, actually, it's probably better to set up Reflex. What? Well, yeah, yeah, actually, we don't need Block anymore, but we, we did the funny thing we wanted to do with Block. So we can just do Light Screen and... Ooh, can he learn... Rest, Aerial Ace, that's not a living board. Can he learn... Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is the... Well, we'll want you to know Light Screen. Torterra can learn Light Screen. That's kind of pog. Um, I don't think we're going to do anything with it, but that's super cool that Torterra can indeed learn that move. Um, I wanted to know if he could learn Thunder Wave. I thought we had a TM for that. I guess it's Shockwave we have the TM for. Looks like Barry's having trouble with puzzles. Uh, couldn't be us, right chat? We've never had a problem with the puzzle. Do -do -do -do. Go, go. Usuli Bandu! Something about an egg, you say. A stunky? Well, I'll be darn. Okay, that was not very cool. A uh, Vinonata. More like a Bellard. Nice bug move, kid. Beagle. Alright, you live that one. You won't live another. An older book. Ah, uh, more stockpile stuff, huh? We don't care about that. 
That actually kind of hit. That kind of hit kind of hard. Oh, I, actually, I didn't talk to all these people. Wait a minute, what is this? Do I get them both? It's a very expensive looking book on a Pokemon. Would you like to read it? Manaphy. I guess these are TMs. Alright, alright. I, I thought I was about to catch a freaking mana manaphy. Uh, our Torterra is toxic. Swagger's cool. We don't have a prankster Pokemon or anything. Or a Pokemon immune to confusion. I'm sure there are ROM hacks where the main gimmick is. Oh, Torterra can take that for days. Uh, or I was gonna say the main gimmick is is every battle is a double battle. I'm sure that's a ROM hack, which could be fun because that that is sort of like a different game to play. Oh yeah, Torterra's fine. I did that just to flex chat because I knew we could take the extra stuff. Right, chatters? Yep. Heal up. We invite them later. Good. Good, good, good. So, yeah. And we'll go ahead and give you the... I mean, you are the crit man, so take, take the scope lens. Is hitting hard really going to do anything for us? Not really, you know, this is freaking teeter dance, that's an interesting thing. Um, yeah. I'm thinking we just really want longevity on the team. Because it is a double battle, there's no telling if we'll be double targeted. Maybe I should get, maybe I should give Bob Marley a citrus, or... I'm sure one of these guys I should give a citrus to and not freaking leftovers. But, uh, whatever. The strat is we just lead off. We lead off Cyndaflow. And we... I mean, Charcoal Boosted, even if it's a spread move, I'm sure we just annihilate the Bronzor. Because it's not heat proof, it's freaking levitate, so. As long as we kill one of them, uh, I don't see a way for them to do the same back. Right. Wait, what? Okay, Lucky Egg is great. But they freaking teleported him? Wait, she needs to use a bathroom, that's funny. You ejected the Ollie just groon from the front door, that's a relief. Ah, uh, thank you. Actually, Michael Fairy ran off. I would take all your Pokemon, girlies. Okay, we went in there and got the stuff. Actually, maybe I should talk to this girl. They're all talking about eggs and stuff. Can I talk to Barry? Okay, the answer is I can't. So this is the important fight. And he's here. Wonderful. Star Ludwig. Phew, I thought that would never end. Keep it up. To turn... <laughs> So, have we beat other soul more? Hmm. Who are you children? Where are the grunts I left? Come along, Mr. Bracklot. Oh yes, I suppose I must all oh, my poor Pokemon mansion. You recognize your face? 
You are the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna. Hmm, anything that continues to oppose Team Galactic must be crushed indubitably. Come, Mr. Backlight. You'll help me eject these children from your home, yes? Oh, I would prefer not, but I suppose I must. My poor, beautiful Pokemon use such for such a boring task. Okay, Sir Lobo, no problem. Let's team up and win this. We can just he heal the old man's Pokemon afterwards. Don't worry about him. All right. This is zone good. All right. No more speed up. Lava Plume. All right, it's a spread move, so it's much weaker. All right, if it killed the Staravia, it's killing the Bronzong. Um, I don't know if it's killing the Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff is a tough Pokemon, but uh, you're not heat proof, so you die. And that's what we were worried about. If we click the Lava Plume button, I think, until... Actually, Octillery is coming in. So we cannot. You know what? This is what we wanted. This is literally what we wanted. Exactly what we wanted. Alright, Octillery comes in. And the question is, what does it do now? Does it go for Sing on another Pokemon? Because I think. Yeah, I can go ahead and bring this in. Extreme speed on the Wigglytuff? Flint's kind of cracked if this KOs. And it does. So you probably went for a water move, I'd assume, right? Octazooka? Ice Beam. Interesting. Pretty hard, huh? There goes the Raichu, and I think uh, you are Grass Knot. You are Grass Knot. Mm. You are in a precarious situation. But you know what? I think I would rather up the Octillery die. Ooh, he went for the swap, huh? I would rather the Octillery die than. Oh, thank god, it faked him out. I'm on the switch. But yeah, uh... Chin Chow learns Thunderbolt at 3-3. We are still in an interesting situation. We are faster, there's no telling what the Octillery is gonna do. Okay. I mean, I guess the AI saw that this killed. Okay, that's fine. Um, our ally is down to his last Pokemon. Uh, Toxicroak isn't the most fun thing to deal with. And now that I think about it, I don't think I brought anything to deal with the Toxicroak. I know it, Bronzor. It doesn't know a dark move, right? Tell me it doesn't know a dark move. Okay, the answer is it doesn't. So Bronzong deals with you handedly. So what we're going to do is on this turn, run a Thunder Wave the Toxic Growth. Is it like choice? Because it keeps going for Thunderbolt. Hey, that's fine by me, as long as you don't crit me. Ooh, I guess I should have attacked here. But you're paralyzed, so it's just as good. Hey, okay, he can go for his many poisonous jabs as he wants. Um, I could go into my ground type, or I could go into Billard. Uh, the thing is, he's probably not going for an electric move on me, you know? Yeah. If Heracross died here, that would suck! Okay. 
that's fine. Oh, Verloom's still here. Go, go, extra sensory. No extreme speed there. That is certainly a thing. Certainly a decision they made. But I think from here... Okay, a crit for a crit. Just as the good lord intended. We're doing pretty swell, if I do say so myself. If I do think about this, you can't hurt me. You can go for what? Electric moves and brass knot. So I think I set the light screen. And then we go into Torterra. And then Torterra just uh, takes it from here. Uh, I could flex on the AI and go into uh, my good friend uh, Chow Chow, the lantern. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to go into Bob Marley. And use uh, Earthquake and then Crunch. Which means I could have brought the Swablu. But uh, I just wanted to play it safe, you know? I could curse. You know what? I will. I'm just going to curse once. Nice Grass Knot. You might ask... Why are you going for plus one? Um, well, I know I can't be crit, so you're right. I should go for plus two. But I'm going for plus one, so this Earthquake, followed by Crunch, there's actually a 77.34% chance that the Crunch uh, kills this Espeon. I know, I bet you, I bet you didn't think of that. 77.63? Whatever I said? The truth is, I don't really know that. I just made up numbers. But would I ever lie to you, chat? I said that this crunch is about to send this Espeon. Ooh, it's not an Espeon, it's a Cadabra. Man. Well, you're dead a million times out of the week. <laughs> As if Protect would save you. Oh no, my light screen's gone. Whatever will I do? With such a without such an integral item, this crunch won't be able to kill. Oh no, what if we get crit chat? Oh my god, that actually hit really hard. <laughs> but uh yeah, even if I was a plus one, uh this killed. And with that, Team Galactic is dealt with. And you know what? Dealing with Team Galactic, I think it's the perfect time for this. I'd like to think. Let's br let's bring it down for a minute. I'd like to go ahead and thank a good friend of the stream. I do not wait. Oh, we can... wait. Yeah, I got a new follower. Don't know who it's from. It could be someone from Twitter. I've been firing on all cylinders on Twitter. Not really. Uh, I have been liking a lot of stuff on Twitter, though. Excuse me? What has Dreano done? <laughs> Why? Why could Torterra learn all these moves? I have to look at the docs. Maybe there's something wrong with my game. Why can Torterra learn literally... <laughs> The wildest moves I've ever seen. Alright, so surely something's wrong. Surely Torterra can't actually learn these moves. Yeah, what? Or is this just Mogul Platinum stuff I don't know about? <laughs> this must be Mogul Platinum stuff I don't know about, because in Pokemon Platinum, he doesn't learn these moves. Like, he learned Crunch, as he should have. But he learned moves like freaking Heart Stamp and a bunch of other stuff. And this is just funny. Like, maybe I'd take a screenshot of this, because this is just funny. 
but I have to assume this is a Mogul Platinum thing and not a Dreano thing that he would normally do. Because why would I ever want you to know this move in so, so, so late of the game? Like, if Grottle could learn this move at like level 25 or something, then this would be busted. Because, like, 40 HP at that point in the game is probably like a third of like. Wait, Frenzy Plant. But again! Keep all boost. Give up. What? Uh oh, I. What's going on? Why did that happen three times? I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Get Gucci'd. You kids are tough. Oh, oh, my poor Pokemon. That's money. We we never have to worry about money again. <laughs> Ugh, what makes you so tough? Not to mention this old man is completely useless. Fine, we'll leave. We bargained with this old man for the riches we needed. Next time, you won't be so lucky. There, Star Ludwin, all sorted. Now it's time to dash. I'm off to Solacia Town. See ya, Star Ludwin. You'll be shocked by my growth the next time we meet. And you know what? I don't think you're wrong. I think you're 100% right. That friend of yours takes off very quickly, doesn't he? Thank you for coming to aid of my Pokemon Mansion. Those Team Galactic people wanted some of my most valuable objects, yes, yes. With their threats against my lovely staff and the people of this mansion, I had no choice but to cooperate, you see. Alas, I'm sure things mostly return to normal now, yes, yes. There's only a particularly valuable item that was not taken by them. Oh my god, it's a freaking Bonafi! I think the trophy garden specifically... I just take my odds, yes? Because I don't want a Pikachu. We already have Eevee and Porygon. Oh, a Pokemon list. Status. Oh, but yes, I... Oh, I remember this dude. Um, we'll be back. I... Come on. Oh god. Who are we leading? Oh, we... <laughs> they pre... Oh god. Uh, Sting, we brought you for a reason. This is why I brought Sting, chat. It was that policeman right there. No other reason. Oh god. Yeah, these are fights. Alright, I have no idea what they have. And kids, we are not playing any of these games. We are going to go ahead, go to our berries, and we have the berries for a reason. Petra. The what? Use it. Um, kill Chow, and I hate that that's the first one, and use that. Uh, we have 20 super potions? Oh, I guess we have 19. I must have used some while grinding. So I'm sure we'll be fine in the event that we have a double battle or something. But we're actually just going to avoid all the trainers, so it's not going to be an issue. Good. Yeah, we're just gonna avoid them. Oh, I'm actually just out of range. Oh, this is so easy to avoid this guy. You just wait for him to... Alright. Alright. Ah! Alright, I will send you to the netherworld. Alright. I know I said I'd send you to the nether world, but uh Gyarados isn't afraid of you. I was afraid I'd burn him and then he'd hit me with a mean move. 
Alright, uh, don't miss bounce. Don't miss bounce. Alright, everything's fine. Because there's no more trainers. Alright. Um, Lava Plume Button. A Noctel, huh? Yeah, Adaptability Typhlosion is always crickety crackety cracked. Always a good Pokemon. Adriano did give it like uh, 14 more special attack or something like that. And like one extra point in speed. Alright, everyone's healed. And that's the last important battle that I know of. Uh, I could be wrong. It'd be a shame if there was another important battle. I'm not seeing any. Actually, we have baby Pokemon to catch. Um, shoot. We got Smegla. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna actually check. I have a few notifications here. Maybe someone made a suggestion. West Indian. I, I, I don't get the joke, but I'll do it? How am I going to do this? Oh, he's in Eterna City. Okay. So we're on a quick journey to Eterna City. Um, Slugma is not... <laughs> Slugma is not going to be that Pokemon that's going to help us. Oh, hey! Welcome, first time chatter! Um, I just checked my Twitter for name suggestions for this new Pokemon I caught. It's a shiny, um, it's a shiny this Pokemon. I always forget the name of it. And, uh, we're about to go to the name raider and change this Pokemon's name. But welcome, welcome. Actually, I just played the new follower. Slugma Balls. Ha ha he 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 he. Um, but yeah, I always, always do that. Like when someone stops by. Yeah. Yeah, I've, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going strong not getting caught with these nuts jokes yet. So I always try to be good. Uh, you know what? We'll just do that. But yeah, how are you doing? Because uh, for me, it's pretty late at night. But we have done the main thing of the stream. We beat Team Galactica. I'm about to rename the Slugma. Because I went live late, but earlier than I expected to. Because I do not do a lot of grinding before stream or anything. And I was trying to uh, get a Snorlax, which you need friendship for. And I randomly ran into a Slugma, and I'm like, Welp, looks like I'm starting stream, I guess. Because I've actually caught a lot of Shinies. Uh, I'll rename the Slugma and I'll show you. And, you know, while we're at the name, uh, changer or whatever, if you see any Pokemon you like, you know, just for you. Yeah, yeah, th I, that's what I like to do. Because even with speed up, me spending an hour grinding up, like, four Pokemon, ten different levels isn't fun to watch. Uh, but if I lose, I caught a shiny one of these. If, uh, if I lose a Pokemon grinding, I'll show it on stream. The last time that happened was Nuzleaf. I made the mistake of staying in on a Meryl that was huge power. I didn't know it was huge power Meryl, but it sure was. But yeah, I like to knock out at least one story event per stream. So uh, I spend like a few hours uh, beforehand getting berries and grinding up a few Pokemon that I think could be cool and doing strats and stuff. All right, I don't actually know where the name Raider is, but I know he's in this town. Hmm. I didn't. We, oh, here it is. Shiny Swablu. This, um, I posted on Twitter about. Um, like, before I even caught it, I said, oh, another shiny. Uh, yeah. This is Mogul Platinum, which is a raw pack, and the odds are, like, 1 in 512, which is, like, 5 to 10 times better than what it normally is. So those are all the shinies. I try to keep them together, but my plan was to do Galactic and the Gym today. 
But I don't know if I will, because this will be a lot of grinding. Because I need this Pokemon to do the fighting type gym. But yeah, it's like 10 times the odds. And those are... Oh, and the... And the... And this Pokemon that I'm about to uh, nickname. But yeah, are there any cool Pokemon that you see that you'd like to nickname? Because you can nickname any one of these besides this Gabite and this Togetic. These are the only two that are off limits. But we've got plenty of Pokemon in here. Um, but yeah, the reason we quote unquote have a lot, it's just uh, there's so much gift Pokemon in this ROM hack. Like all the starters we have are gifts. We have lost Pokemon, uh, mainly because I haven't been very smart. All of these are were avoidable deaths. Actually, most of these were to crits, but still. But yeah. Oh, yeah, there is a challenge lock. Uh, there are challenge elements to it. Like, whenever... Rip Charmeleon. Yeah, um, this is actually my third attempt at Mobile Platinum. Because I have lost. Uh, the second time I lost was to the Perugly Lady. Just because I got super unlucky with RNG. With, like, sleep turns and getting crit all the time. Uh, this was because I was dumb. Uh, there was a double battle, and they were against children. I'm like, oh, what are you going to do? And their line is, I bet we can one-shot your entire team. And they weren't wrong. <laughs> they definitely could have, because they did charge beam and other lame stuff. Uh, this died to a Perugly. This died to a Poochiana crit. Um... I forget how we lost Mat Oh, this Matang has terrible IVs. I'm gonna die on my first Nuzlocke. I mean, it depends on how severe your rules are. Emerald Kaizo! <laughs> You're braver than I am. You certainly are. Because um, I've, I've done a normal game. This is my first uh, ROM hack that I'm doing. But oh yeah, you need like particular IVs too. Uh, in this game, the main reason we've won is setup shenanigans. Like, I know I'm basically just giving you a history lesson, but this Zangoose is how we beat uh, one of the things, as is this Apom. I mean, Ambipom. Uh, if you look at their moveset, all they do is set up and do stuff. That's how we beat the Ghost Gem. Uh, we just baton pass to our uh, Dark type. But yeah, uh, in this game, the AI doesn't know how to deal with substitutes. So if you sub, it will either go for a status move or random move. So that's usually two to three turns of setup you get. Yeah, that's how we beat most of the gems. I mean, Mogul Platinum's pretty hard. Uh, it's... I don't know if you've... Have you heard of Mogul Platinum? Like, if you can tell, this is supposed to be Ludwig. But, um, yeah, it's the... Oh, is this the name, dude? No. Oh, Mogul Platinum is... Back when Renegade Platinum was new, uh, there's a YouTuber named Ludwig. So, yeah, there's a Mogul. Um, so Ludwig did a YouTube video about this almost, like, two years ago. When a Renegade Platinum was new, uh, he asked Dreano the maker of Renegade Platinum, to make him a special version of Renegade Platinum. And there's a bunch of memes, like uh, Slime Stans is in it. Uh, Atrioc is uh, Cyrus in this game. Uh, there's a bunch of jokes and stuff in it, but it's like, it was made for Ludwig. Like, Ludwig has a, has a YouTube video on it. Um, but the reason I'm playing this instead of like Vintage White or something, is because one of my chatters at the time, uh, one of the th chatters at the time uh, asked me, oh, what, I was like, you know, I was thinking of doing some ROM hacks. I was thinking of doing like Vintage White or Blaze Black. Yeah, they rep they recommended this and I told them verbatim, Mogul Platinum? I was like, Ludwig beat it, are you sure? And I'm like, you know, not to downplay Ludwig or anything. But he like throws for content sometimes, which I've never done, in quotations. Um, but yeah, they recommended it, and it is actually pretty hard. What I learned is I need to read the documentation, 
because when I don't, I just lose. Because <laughs> I lost in the first uh, rival fight, because the rival had a level 10 Pokemon. Uh, Cutie is the rival. Uh, Clint Stevens and Cutie. So uh, the first Cutie fight I lost because I thought she would give me Pokeballs, but she just ran up with a level 10 Piplup. And all my Pokemon were level 5, and I was like, ooh, that's kind of bad. But also, you know, we're just going over some stuff. You need to be like a cautious hero, max everything, then fight. Yeah, that's how um, Emerald Kaizo will be. I am playing with soft level caps, and this is what happens whenever a Pokemon dies. So we took 5 damage. Okay, we took 5 damage. Okay, we get HP back. Yes. <gasps> it does five damage. We win. We win, we win, we win. No! So I have a whole list of challenge rules for the Starlock. But like whenever a Pokemon dies, we spin this wheel and I do like a physical exercise associated with that. And then like we divide their level by three, add up how many gym badges I have, and that's how many exercises I do. So let's say, let's say that I lost my Torterra here and he's like level 34. Let's see. Like, yeah, uh, let's say he's 36. So I do... I do 12 of an exercise plus three gym badges. So I do 16 of an exercise. So I'd go to here, I'd spin the wheel, and whatever I'd land on, I'd do. So if I landed on, let's say, well, let's see. All right, looks like we landed on four here. So I'd do uh, 16 sit-ups, hypothetically. But we'll never lose a Pokemon again. And, you know, I rambled on for a while, and I don't mind doing that. But I need to actually look up where the name changer is. Were there any Pokemon you saw on the PC that you thought you might want to name? Like any of the shinies? Oh, by the way, this Bay Bagon's cracked. He actually picked a good Pokemon. I don't know what its other IVs. Call him Veldora. Okay. Uh, he's kind of cracked. He... Actually, I mean she. She is max speed, max special attack in IVs. Like, most of my Pokemon are good, good IVs, but not all of them have good natures and IVs. I think she's adamant as well. I think. She's adamant or jolly. One of those. I just know she's super good. Did I know Bagon can have Hydro Pump? I didn't. That's a very interesting thing. Is that something that's happened in VGC? Or is that a strat you know for Emerald Kaizo or something? Alright, and I found the name raider. Yeah, I didn't know that. So first things first. We will nickname you... Veldora. You breed a Gyarados with Hydro Pump and a Bagon. You know, breeding is something I've never really done. I did it once in Radical Red. And I say once, it was much more than once. Baby level 5. That is funny. Breeding is like a funny thing because like it's how you get your IVs perfect and stuff. But it's like you breed you you usually breed just all your Pokemon with a ditto. And forgive me for misspelling there. But yeah, what we have left is uh normally what I would I edit some of the Pokemon videos and by edit I just cut out all the boring parts. Like what we what we're doing now is we're just gonna battle a bunch of trainers. We'll probably get an encounter or two. But, you know, if none of them give me trouble, we just go ahead. Oh my god, I have a subscriber. That's crazy. I have all, 
I have three. Oh, I hope I spelled that right. Beldora. Okay, it looks like I did. It's better than before. How fortunate of you. But yeah. Um, another cool thing is Drayano did a bunch of ability changes. Like, this is adaptability. In every game with adaptability uh, Typhlosion, you always just click Lava Plume or Eruption and you send things to the Shadow Realm. Uh, but I need to change to Slugma as well, because the first person who spoke up on Twitter gave me a suggestion. But yeah, what do you do? What do you do? Because you seem like you have an avatar and everything. Do you play a lot of Pokemon or anything? Because, you know, tackling Emerald Kaizo is your first Nuzlocke. I'm sure that will be an ordeal. I'm a Baytuber, VTuber. You know what? You know, I'll just tell you, and this can be a secret between the two of us. I think, earnestly, honestly, VTubers are the future. Ooh. Alright, so maybe this is something I look up off stream then. <laughs> and we'll, we'll just see how that sticks. How maybe are we gonna get some lunch? Oh, that's cool. That's fine, man. Yeah, it's important to stay hydrated more more often than not. But yeah, it's cool if you're just lurking. I enjoy the company. Yeah, I don't know. You know, maybe I'm just out of the loop. I'm not with the kids today. I didn't know when they changed Minecraft. And I know that sounds crazy. What do you mean they changed Minecraft? I didn't know they changed how diamonds work. Because I, I could make it I could make it sound like I sound super old, but I didn't know there were negative coordinates in Minecraft. I just thought it went down to like zero, and that's where the bedrock was. And I was like, oh, you just have to mine below Y13 and you'll get diamonds. But apparently there's negative coordinates now. And I say now, I have no idea how long that's been the case. But yeah, if there's any series of games you've been looking forward to me playing... I promise we are going to get to it. You know, I talked about the five, six games that we were planning to have done. And I know all of them, it seems like uh, I'm only like halfway done or not really close. But we are trucking along. And I do plan by like the end of this month to get started on Mass Effect, the Mass Effect series. So... Not sure what class I'm going to play. Uh, if you want to see me do it on the highest difficulty, I'm going to play a biotic class, I think. And I think it's going to be Sentinel, because I've never really played that. And I've never beaten the third... Well, I shouldn't say beaten. I've never played the third Mass Effect. I've heard about it. I have played the first two, but I will be doing a fresh series. And I'll try to make the same choices I would make in reason. You know, not choices that I made just because I know out oh god. Slowpoke guy. Not because I know the outcome. No no. Because you know when Okay, this might sound a little mor morbid. But I'm sure people know about, you know, morality and stuff, right? So if you're put in a situation where in my opinion it's different. If you yourself are just a regular average Joe, and you're put in a situation to save uh, 15 people, one of which you you met, let's say yesterday, like one, like you have a name to put with the face. You met them yesterday. You talked to them. They helped you do something. I don't know. Maybe it's the person from Starbucks or the person who changes your oil. You know that one time who was nice to you. So you can either save those 15 people today from a bad guy, or you can let those 15 people die, but you save 50 in the future. You save 50 in the future, but you let those 15 die immediately. What do you do? Now, most people would probably say, oh, you saved the 50 people, right? But as an average Joe like myself, I would be like, uh, I'm sorry to those 50 people, but who am I to say that those 15 lives are more or less important 
than anyone else. Uh, you might call it shifting the blame, but I'm not the one who's killing those people. It's the madman. It's the one who's putting those people in that situation. And I would, I would save the 15. I would save the lives that are right in front of me. I know that's not good, but, you know, to people who say the ends justify the means, you know, that's very dangerous logic to follow. Like, I'm sure, you know, obviously at a point, uh, it gets to that point where it's like, well, obviously you have to save 500 people to 15. You're, you're just crazy. But, you know, that's my philosophy on it. There is a... M minor spoiler for Mass Effect, there is a choice like that. And, like, you you can stop, like, one of the causes to the issue, and theoretically you save, you know, hundreds of lives at the expense of, you know, a small team of people. But, you know, it's the madman who's doing the bad things, you know? But also, it is kind of different if you're, like, a police officer or... <laughs> <laughs> or anyone in an actual position of power because you know it's kind of your job to make those uh, decisions like you know we're going to a morbid place but like you know whenever there's like a hostage situation or something you know you're supposed to save as many lives as you can or whatever you can't just be like ooh I'm I'm only I'm only saving these 10 hostages like if you're in a hostage situation and they're like you can save these 10 hostages but uh, 70 more will die at the bridge if you do so, you know. I'm, I'm not sure what they teach in uh, negotiation school for the officers. But if I was that officer, I'd be like, shoot. A shame those 70 people are going to die and you're going to go to court for all those uh, crimes. And if he offs himself, which actually is an appropriate thing to say on Twitch. You know, if he unalives then uh you know actually you probably lose your job <laughs> shouldn't take any advice from me i think that's what we've learned today we've had a trainer joy looking guy and once again this is all stuff i'd probably cut normally yeah let me know if you have any name suggestions i'll probably change another flying pokemon to mia actually you know what We'll probably change Flutter to Nia now, since we... Who is Simone again? I forget. We have a Pokemon named Simone, that's a flyer. No, wait, Simone is you. Hmm. Maybe Sting will be Nia. Wait, but you're a man! What a precarious situation we find ourselves in. But we will have a flying type and their name will be Nia. We will have a flying type or a ground type. And his name will be Simon. And we're just gonna fight whoever this is. Yeah, for the fighting type gym, what I'm thinking is we'll have Torterra. I wait, actually, I forgot. We're supposed to be catching a Pokemon. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Um one's in chat if you're Clefairy Gang. Two is in chat if you're a Blissey Gang, and any other thing if you don't really care. Um, if you're a real one, you're Cleffa Gang, because we know that Cleffa is a monster that takes souls, uh, shows no mercy. One, yeah. Um, in my Heart Gold series, Cle there's a running joke of Cleffa ruining everything. Uh, because in the first gym, uh, well, not first gym, but in the ghost gym in Heart Gold, we ran into a Cleffa, and it put five of six of my Pokemon to sleep with Sing, and it got crazy metronomes, and we got the Pichu. Okay. Um, one of the things I wouldn't have wanted, but that's okay. I can probably hit it. Um, me, me trying to... Hmm. Both of these are stab. Eh. Ooh, nasty plot. Uh, me trying to repel Manip only gave me better odds of getting a Pikachu or a... I think it was Blissey or something. Uh, I'm just gonna throw a ball. 
Actually, this is a little dangerous. I don't resist. So we're going to go into our ground type. Because I got a Clefable and Pixelmon to mess with my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but Cl the whole Clefairy bloodline uh, caused me a bunch of trouble in my Heart Gold series. Uh, the funniest things were that uh, my Garatina couldn't kill a Cleffa. Um, and then in the final fight, a Clefable put my Groudon to sleep with Dark Void. Which, remember, my starter was a Darkrai. Yeah, use used Metronome and got freaking Dark Void. <laughs> and stopped my Groudon from sweeping uh, the champion. And yeah, that was the same thing I said. We almost lost to a Darkrai using Double Team. But, uh, Poetic Justice, uh, the Darkrai died to by being crit through a Double Team. Which is exactly what happened to our Darkrai when they died. So it was it was fitting. Um, you know what? We'll call you ACDC. Yep. I had thought I had lost because uh, my only answer to it, because it it also knew Dark Void, because in the randomizer I put uh, important trainers can learn TMs, and Dark Void was a TM in my run. Um, so it knew Dark Void as well, and also you knew Nightmare and a bunch of other moves. And it was faster than everything besides the Mewtwo, which comes back later. Actually, I could show the clip if I pulled it up on my Twitch. Uh, but basically, uh, I lose my Heracross, who was Guts and pre-burned and everything. I use, lose him to a Latias, because I make the mistake of being like, Oh, he's gonna heal! Because he only used one of his full restores. So he'll heal again, I can switch out, and then kill, which didn't work. Um, I'm sure the clip's on here somewhere. What? You hit a fucking Dark Void? I can't believe 30 turns in the universe. We hit Silverwind. And this is the starter we could have had. We could have chosen Mewtwo from the start. But yeah, we didn't hit that Darkrai for the entire the entire thing. And he per he proceeds to win the rest of the run for us. Is this your champion? <laughs> I fear no gods. Yeah, I end the clip by saying everyone who died deserved it, which, you know, isn't wasn't true, but I was just on a high at that moment. Yeah, I stalled out um al almost all of its nightmares, all of his all of his uh, dark voids and such. And it was it was not a fun turn to live through. That's why I thought we'd lost cuz I was like uh I was like we don't have uh, enough healing or anything. We're just gonna die because I can't hit this thing. But uh, Mewtwo was just better. Um, but oh yeah, I was saying there was the three amigos, which was Groudon, Regigigas, and Darkrai. And then Darkrai died right before we reached the Indigo Plateau because this was Pokemon Heart Gold. Oh, it's a fight. Darkrai is like Gengar but better. Yeah, it's like fast. It's like super fast. Um... Back before Dark Void was nerfed, like it hit two Pokemon and was almost 100 accuracy. And then it knew Nightmare and it could, it could know Dream Eater, but like super late. Oop, I almost made a mistake. Uh, let's pray you're not Pursuit, buddy. Uh, but yeah, Darkrai was the starter we chose. Uh, we shot Darkrai the TM for Spore. And Spore is 100% accurate. And it used to all work on grass types, so Spore was just better. But uh, Darkrai died to a Primate. Well, actually, it wasn't the Primate that killed them. It was the Primate that led to their death. Because uh, I had four Pokemon weak to fighting. But I was like, oh, 
it's fine. Uh, there's not e any trainers to fight in Victory Road. Except for the rival. I'm sure we'll be fine, but he had a primate. And uh, it was Vital Spirit. We beat almost every important battle with just sleep shenanigans in that game. And because that Pokemon was Vital Spirit, uh, we couldn't put it to sleep. It's crazy, our Darkrai probably almost died like six times in that one run. And half of those were just a Pokemon that had abilities that kept them from uh, falling asleep. Like one time it was to a Vigoroth, that new counter. But I had thought to myself, oh, I'll put it to sleep. Oh, okay, I'll just hit it once. What's the worst that can happen? And then Darkrai lives on 2 HP. But yeah, our, um, our Regigigas knew dr Dragon Dance, which was cool. And that's why we used Regigigas. Because like, if I, even at minus one attack, uh, he still hits pretty hard. But yeah, have you ever done any randomizers or stuff like that? I know you said your first Nuzlocke is going to be Emerald Kaizo. Uh, well, he, he knew Dragon Dance. So if I sent him in and Dragon Danced once, he wasn't so slow. Because he's like base 100 speed, which isn't bad. I'm just your average Pokemon fan. Well, I think I think I'm an average Pokemon fan. Well, actually, I shouldn't say average. I probably do more than most. Uh, I haven't tried doing stuff like Nuzlocke or anything until very recently. Um, because I I really did this to be sure that I'm authentic and I actually finish things. Because I'm very bad at finishing video games. And over the summer, I was planning to, planning to change that. Uh, like, I've got a whole list of games I want to complete before September run rolls around. But yeah, like, recording this keeps me honest. So it's not like, oh, when a Pokemon dies, I'm not like, eh, they didn't actually die. Or me being like, ah, oh, that's cheap. You know, being, being crit twice in a row or just dying to a crit, you know, that death shouldn't count. But it does, all the same. That, and it's an excuse for me to get more exercise in, as well as drink water, which is, you know, something everyone needs to do. And it looks like there's nothing else to do on this route. Yeah, I try to, I try to, I take sips while I stream, but every hour on the hour, I make sure that I, I always tell chat and myself to stay hydrated. Oh, you were speaking about Gengar, look who it is. And I keep leading this Pokemon, and I don't mean to. I can actually catch a Gengar, but I'm holding off on it. When I guess I guess I really shouldn't. It's just I'm worried I'm gonna kill it if I don't have Pokemon prepared. Cause there's a static Gengar you get in this game. Uh, that's level 20. All right, that's not cool. Actually, I should have gone into my Steel type. But, you know what, we're going to risk it all and go for Earthquake. Bob Marley, use your weed. He can't be crit, so it's fine. Uh, in this game, he has battle armor. <gasps> I didn't know Drayano did this. Uh, I've been, I think March, maybe. Maybe not even that long. Um, but yeah, the, the only things I've streamed have been my Heart Gold series. I played Pokemon Conquest. Oh, and oh, you said until until when? Um, probably for ooh ooh. Maybe I'm not thinking right now. Wait, you're right. I'm not thinking. All right, he's gonna go for Shadow Ball, which means. We go into Soundwave. Yeah, I get distracted very easily. <laughs> um, but we'll be fine. Because I'm sure we're faster at least. Alright. You're not the right item, but that doesn't matter. You're just going to kill the Gengar. So we're not going to worry about anything. Alright, you didn't kill the Gengar, but it's fine. Like I said, it's fine. It is fine. We didn't 
uh, almost lose a Pokemon again. All right. You're gonna bite it. Uh, but yeah, I am pretty bad uh, at paying attention. I'm also terrible at children's puzzles. My god, this old man is nine head. Oh, but we're still faster. We are Jolly Gyarados. And you know what? You're not critting me, so it's fine. But oh yeah, I'm gonna stream probably for another hour or so. At least until we get to the next city, that's the goal. But yeah, as far as other games that I've streamed regularly, most of them have been Pokemon. I've done other events. Like I did a whole stream where we, I say whole stream, it wasn't long. We did a stream where we played either or, and we talked a bit. Uh, what else have we done? I've done test streams before. I test streamed uh, Mass Effect. Oh, that's fine. It's That's fine. I'm just glad you stopped by. I mean, you've already gotten to name a Pokemon. Um, if you ever want to catch me streaming again, uh, it's almost midnight my time. Ooh. And I did it again. Um, I usually... I try to stream at 7 p.m. my time. Right now it's about uh, midnight. Uh, I have my schedule up. Ooh. Uh, Alright, we're gonna go into Gyarados, and if that doesn't work, we're gonna go into Typhlosion. But yeah, I try to uh, stream like 7 p.m. my time. Yeah, yeah. Tomor tomorrow will be more Pokemon. I try to do Pokemon three days a week, and then every other day I either upload videos or... Uh, we do an FPS game, and I'm very, I haven't played an FPS, before this summer, I haven't played, uh, no, it's not 7 to 12, that'd be crazy, uh, I just started late today, but yeah, I try to, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I, I aim for 7, but it's usually, uh, closer to 8, where I actually start. Because we go for like three, three and a half hours. I give up on natural gift. That's why I try to do all my grinding beforehand. But today, while I was uh, grinding getting berries, uh, we got that shiny. I was like, I might as well stream. Oh, that's fine. I I'm glad you stopped in and talked today. We have opposite time zones. Well, you know what? I'll be sure to check you out. Is your... Is your YouTube... Actually, you know what? It told me you subscribed to me, so I imagine. Oh, okay. Well, you know... Well, they can finally call me Mr. Worldwide, I guess. So that's super cool. But, you know, good. your good vibes and just stopping by is more than enough I know I was thinking of naming the uh naming the Swablu Dio because it was yellow but I was like I'm sure we'll get a more appropriate name for that Pokemon but um yeah Dio I, I love Jojo's dude uh, yesterday I had a dream. Well, I shouldn't say I had a dream about JoJo's. <laughs> that 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 means something else. I had a dream where I was watching a TV show, and then in my YouTube recommended was this dude who did a whole musical performance about JoJo's. I can't remember anything he said, but I remember listening to it in my dream and being like, "Oh my gosh, his flow is insane. His rhyme scheme. I could never think of something like that." But yeah, JoJo's is one of my favorites. Uh. One of my favorite animes. My character actually has a Joestar tattoo. If I ever were to get um, a tattoo, I'd probably get a JoJo's one. Like, I'd probably get the Joestar. But yeah, my favorite JoJo, I don't know if you know anything about part 7, is probably Johnny. Followed by Josuke. Because I, I just, I, I love Josuke. I'm actually kind of lost. But yeah, I, lo I love JoJo's. Oh, you only watched the anime? 
Okay, well, what do you think of Jolene so far? Like, if you're caught up. Because Stone and Ocean is the most recent part. She's pretty rad. I like how she's super fun. Okay, let's check out the wild Pokemon here. Staravia, Glamia, Goldfunk, Bonsley. Okay. <gasps> Alright, I need to figure out, how do I get a Chansey out of this route? Because apparently I can get a Chansey, so I need to I need to look up the Repel document. Fix Chansey. No, this is all Fix Chansey. Um, I'll do, I'll use one more Repel here. And if that doesn't work, uh, we'll just have to spin the odds and pray we get a Chansey. I mean, Chansey's such a good Pokemon. I don't believe we live in a world where... No one's done the research. Well, it looks like uh, we're just gonna roll the dice here. <gasps> All right. Well, thanks to everyone who stopped by today because we did indeed get the chancy. And uh, I don't know what to do now. I didn't think we get this far, honestly. I didn't say we're gonna get the Chansey and then expect us to actually get a Chansey here. Uh, let's taunt it. No idea what it went for. But... Hmm, is that a Fairy-type move in this game? I think it... That hit kinda hard. But I'm sure we take another one. Okay, that did not hit at Alright, Bellard, you're up. You can take everything this thing's got. Alright, your taunt wore off. I think we just win the game now, chat. I don't think there's a way we lose. This is stab, but you're also a freaking chancy. Alright, okay, so we're gonna just be here 12 years. Alright, speed up mode activate. Okay, good thing to eat this up. Alright, we're gonna go for one more. Alright. This can be Mia. Man, everything works out for the best, doesn't it, guys? If you just have that undoubtable will and perseverance, you can catch any Pokemon you want. Just don't soft boil. Get as small as you want, Chansey. Uh, you're not avoiding this Pokeball. That's coming your way. Ooh, we do have a Luxury Ball. That could be cool. Unless they're the Great Ball. Oh god. Oh, that feels so good. Alright, and this is gonna be our Nia. Yeah, the last three streams, uh, we've been getting sick Pokemon. What feels good? Uh, all the shinies we've been getting on top of... Uh, I'm repelling it into it not actually working into getting a Chansey. So... Kind of sick with it. That's to say. I want to be a Pokemon. Talk about being a dream... Okay, good. I think we're actually- I was gonna say, I think we're close to the- Yeah, you missed a JoJo fan, man. Oh, bunch of HP stats. Uh, I don't think you mind that one bit. See you then, Obama. You know, I say we go to the next city and we in stream. Yeah, Dragon Rage, it's weird. I don't think it's anything I did. I think, at least I like to think it's not. I think it's just a mobile platinum thing. But it is weird that it learns it so late. Like, he was like 34 or something, 35, and he could learn freaking Dragon Rage. This is a smooshum, but uh. 
as long as it's literally not carrying uh, Ice Beam or Aurora Beam crit, which it can't crit, because, oh, but we can crit them, you know? That's why I stayed in. It wasn't because I was talking to you, Cappy Gamer 125. Surely not. Oh, I get it. They're using a bunch of baby Pokemon. Uh, I could still stay in here, which I think I shall do. I think that's what we're gonna do, and it's how we're gonna win the fight. We're just gonna stay in and uh, not be punished for it, you know? Because that's what all the cool kids are doing. Oh my god, it's another Cluffa! I don't know if we'll put Cleffa in the thumbnail. As funny as it is, Cleffa has done its due. No longer trouble me, and I pray it will no longer trouble you. Eagly buff, huh? Uh, I think we just hit a uh, sea bomb again. I think we're doing pretty good here. The best is back. Clef is Clef the best? I don't know. I mean, it is a Pokemon that freaking memes on us all the time, but uh. Oh yeah, I forgot it's a freaking berry type. I don't know quite good. There's no way chance it gets freaking the top. This would be too much of a monster. Oh, you meant beast. Okay. I mean, it, yeah, it is a monster. Uh, we are not going into that tower no matter what. So, I'm, I'm just telling you now. Because we have to catch the Gengar first. It's like order of operations. I mean, we got the chancey, so, you know, luck is... Luck is give and take in Pokemon. So getting the chance. Oh, wait. I forgot. He wanted to give me the blue egg. Alright, so we'll go to the next city and then we'll get the blue egg and then we'll probably instant Staravia. Why can't. Why can't it. Why Staravia? Tell me we could run here. It'd be awfully bad if we could. Okay, good. Uh, we are running low on honey. I can always buy more. Because we, we fight a lot of trainers. So I can indeed always just buy more. Let me know, chat. Actually, I don't think we do. Yes, yeah, Staravia was like our only flying type. So this is actually pretty good if this is Guts, right? If this is Guts Swallow, we kind of pogging? I don't know what I can hit this with. I mean, Send the Flow can probably do something, but like, there's nothing wrong with intimidating it. If this is a Guts Pokemon, if this is Guts, uh, I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm not worried about the freaking fighting job. Because I'll tell you what, I will facade to the cows come. I do need to hit it with something. So we'll hit it with a bite, and we'll miss. Alright, this well is freaking getting ready to send me to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> I'm sure we don't live in a world where, <laughs> where we're just not going to be able to hit this thing. Surely not, video game. Alright, but it knows Aerial Ace. Okay, game. Alright, we got plenty of bite PP. This isn't this isn't gonna be an issue. We're we're, we're just simply gonna catch the Pokemon. It knows reversal, which is actually kinda scary. How hard is this hitting? Okay, harder than I would have thought. Go 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 great ball. I could go into our steel type, but 
You know, why waste a turn when you can just catch it? And I think, I don't think we have a common. And if we do, I guess we'll just have two because it's so cool. Yep. You will be our commoner. And you know what? We'll end stream learning if your guts or not. If your guts, uh, I call it like I see it. And I knew you were guts. And that's why I named you commoner. Hope it's just one in. It'd be a shame if we lose more. Be a shame if it was more than that. I mean, I got Chansey. I don't know what else the, the grass could have had, but I feel like uh, not a darn thing would have been better. Oh, more lots of berries. Ah, oh, so good. Oh, Raz. I gotta work on my berry knowledge. Uh, were you there for the last uh, Minecraft stream I did? Um, I did miss out on uh, what one person was saying to me, and it made me feel bad because, you know, it's obviously something I need to work on. You know, keep my chat involved and stuff. And you know me, I get distracted so easily. I almost lost my entire team to a single Gengar <laughs> because I was busy being distracted. Well, I say distracted, that's not what I mean. I was just, my attention was divided, and when I get talking, I get going, and when I get going, I, we make silly mistakes. We know how it is. You've seen me play Doom. If I'm not at, like, 85% maximum capacity, I just, uh, it seems like I can't do anything right. You know? Oops. Man, didn't see that coming. Hope our HP is good. Oh, okay. We have no poison moves. Uh, we do have a steel type. We do have a steel type. And 8 times out of 10, steel types beat fairy types. Unless they're carrying the elusive. I almost said elusive target. Oh my god. <laughs> if only someone could tell us what an elusive target is. Oh, coffee cow joke? Mmm. Alright, I'm making a. Th I almost said a thumbnail. I'm making a note to myself at 250. We see a mill tank. So we could make a coffee cow joke for our thumbnail. Did it just go for bide? Gonna do what we need it to do. Oh, oh god, what? I was ready for this. I'll show you as a special favor. Oh, uh, what the? What's up? This is up. I got seals. Oh, okay. The ruins here are cool. There's a hidden machine defog. Okay, thank God. I was like, I wasn't prepared for a fight with him. I, I just want the berries, dude. A uh, figgy. Let's get figgy with it. So I definitely will be grinding because I'm gonna want more figgy berries. Prism is an, another important berry. We are almost doing enough to where I think we won't even use all the citrus berries we have. I know that's pretty crazy to say. But oh yeah, last Minecraft stream, I got distracted. We made it to full iron, uh, and I didn't know where to dig for diamonds. 
I feel bad, but the first person who chatted with me, they said something and I missed it because I was in the middle of the story and then I came back two hours later and then asked, oh, how good do you think I am at Minecraft? And I'm like, uh, I'm pretty new at Minecraft. And I didn't give them a straight answer. I just gave them a roundabout one. And not the JoJo's kind of roundabout, you know? You know, I've got plenty to work on. Because they say when you're streaming, it, like there's a difference between doing it for yourself and then doing it to be entertaining. And like I said, I try to do it, you know, I do it all for me to make sure I finish my things. But I do also think, it, it, I've said it before, it's important to put joy and good vibes out there in the world because there's so much going on. And what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and try to three or oh, yeah, three hours, right? Just about. So I guess we can actually check out the breeding place because from what I understand, it's where I'm going to get my IVs. Is this the place? So tell me about a pokey catcher. Oh yeah, in the safari zone, I need to catch buy Pokemon or something for the TM for Protect, which I'm doing 100% of the time. Uh, you can't stop. Star Ludwin, that's a proper tootin' name. All your Pokemon in need of Tron? Shoot. All your Pokemon in need of training? In that case, I'm your gal, train, train me, or tranny. Actually, what I just said means something completely different than what I meant to say. That's me. Pokemon are able to improve a stat if they battle Pokemon that specialize in that stat. I've got teams of Pokemon to help you with that. Oh, and experience too, if you just want the level. <gasps> Never have to grind again. You just have to talk to me if you need any help. All free of charge. This is a starter pack. Bear with me, a power. I can legitimately EV train now. Oh my god. This is so good for my team and me. Let me get a drink of water. Starbucks, I was playing while I got my drink of water. Maybe I'll edit that out. Anyway, I said toast wrong. You're supposed to do the toast and then... No, wait. You're supposed to say let's do a toast, say what it's for, and then drink. And I did it out of order. Anyway, we got the power bracer. And all these help with IVs. I forget if the old man undoes IVs for us. I hope he does. Because as cool as it is to be like a uh, CTC, anyone who knows who is he he is, anyone who knows the Blunder community or the agency or, or I could go on. Pokey Aim MD. If you know any of them, uh, actually let me check the buffed Pokemon docs one last time. We're gonna look up Swablu to see if I want my Swablu to be max defense stat or max HP. Let's see here. What is 75, 75? Okay, okay, okay. So I'm thinking we want our Swablu to be max special defense. Max HP? That's probably not it. We probably want some attack stats in there. I think this is worth it. We're gonna move, yep. And I say forget period. No! I hate that I just did that. I hate that I just did that. I wanted him to know mirror move. That's why we did all of this. Ah, that's so cringe. That really sucks. I want I wanted him to know mirror move. Yeah, go ahead and evolve.
It's possible maybe the move relearners in this town. That really sucks. Mirror move was the move to learn, and we didn't learn it. Something about hard scales. Okay, well, we're gonna end stream now. We did a bunch of grinding. Oh, we didn't check, like I said. Are you guts? Plus speed, minus defense. <gasps> he is Kamina, guys. I knew it. I knew it. I mean, shoot. Swallow and... Swallow Altaria. And Swallow Altaria. Crobat Torterra. I don't know. Give me a team that's gonna deal with him better. We could bring Gengar. Could bring Gengar and Gyarados. You know, I think that's the team. So let's get them together. All right, actually, no. We need to we need to bring Pokemon with us so we can do these fights. Uh, but let's go get the egg. Yeah, we'll go get the egg and then we'll end stream. I'll look for the move relearner. See if our Pokemon can learn uh, mirror move anytime soon. Is this his office? What? Alright, we got the egg. Alrighty. So thanks for stopping by the stream. We caught another shiny. We got another egg. We seem to... Oh. Anaphy. Well. What? I probably spelled this wrong, but I think we all know where this is from. Uh, it is not from... Uh, not from Disney. It's from... Uh, anime. It's from Moggy. Actually, Moggy would have been a much better name. Ooh, yeah, Moggy. Moggy the man if you do. That's such an amazing name. Oh, God. Oh, we can send you to the Shadow Realm. Crunch. Crunch. Yeah, that was very super effective. Not the smartest thing I've ever done. But, uh, Bob Marley will handle this all the same. If you think he cares about being slower, you're crawling up the wrong tree. Nice burn, kid. You're messing with a beast. Nice light screen, kid. I am burned, and you are a fairy type. He still died of this. Alright, deal with the breeder. Let's keep her going. So we can end this stream. But yeah, this is a very eventful stream. We basically... The wrong button. We basically caught what we needed to be able to deal with the... Next gem. What I do plan to do is, do we use the Milotic? That's the real question. Do we use the Milotic? <sighs> Wait a minute. Does it know Will-O-Wisp? It does. Could a quick claw slugma? Let us win. The answer is no. Because it becomes a rock type <laughs> and is very weak. So the answer is it won't. But, but, and a huge but. 
I feel like we nickname you Moggy later. Calm nature? What does calm do? Aladdin's kinda cracked. Hydration. Interesting. But uh, we don't have any Pokemon for Ring Wheel. But uh, let's see here. Place you. For me. Uh, but that's for next stream. I'd like to thank everyone who stopped by, all four of you. Uh, we got a new follower who, you know what, I think is someone. I shouldn't say it. I think, I know, this is someone who's been following me on Twitter for a while. One of my first ever Twitter followers. And they managed to make it to a stream. And you know what? I think that's great. Because I am very new to Twitter. I feel like I try to do the same thing. Like if I put... Okay, actually, I'm, I'm making it seem like getting a follower on Twitter is a much bigger deal than it probably is. But I was just saying, you know, when... It's, like I said it before, it's very dangerous to hold all your eggs in one basket to get too much from gratification from being on the internet, you know? But I do think that, you know, there's obviously something to be said because everyone has an effect on others to an extent, you know? And being positive, like Riku here, or Gamer 125 you know, that can give out positive vibes and I don't know who's listening to this right now but I think it's very important to let out those good vibes when you can I am getting better at uh you know doing that whole thing online being on Twitter a bit more and being on Twitch a bit more talking to other chatters and creators out there so feel free to let me know if you're thinking of taking up uh content creation or youtube or anything i've already saved my game but i'll do it again because i don't think there's anything wrong with it especially if you're not you know if you're you don't have any skin in the game so to speak so to say like oh you're only doing it like i feel like it's good to say I'm only doing it for me, in a sense. Not like the self sense, but because I feel like that can keep you grounded, you know? Or like you're doing it for goals. Because for me, uh, I'm taking it more seriously because I have the PC now, and gaming summer is a thing, you know? It's the summer where I'm supposed to complete a lot of games, and I actually have a lot of work to do. I need, I need to complete either Doom Eternal or Halo this week, which, ooh, boy, is a bigger deal than I thought it was. What I think I'm actually going to do is wimp out <laughs> in Halo and just play on the easiest difficulty. Because Halo's been punching me a new one, you know? Anyway, enough of that. Uh... Tomorrow the Minecraft video will be up where we get a bunch of iron and I don't find any diamonds, but we still have fun. Then the day after this video will go up, preferably edited, and then another Pokemon video. And Thursday's stream, whatever it will be, it's going to be a shorter one. Actually, maybe not, because I can do all my grinding here. Like, I can, I can get my Swallow to have max attack, max uh, speed. Like, I can just do that. And that's actually pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to look up where the move relearner is and pray that we can get to him already. Uh, I might go back and look up where the TM for Calm Mind is, because I could have sworn we had it. I could I could have sworn we had the TM for Calm Mind. But anyway, uh, I am droning on. I feel like I did a solid intro, so I probably won't record another intro. But I'd like to say, I'm a monstar. I'm glad you decided to spend your time listening to me. And with that, I'll see you later, all-stars.
just be sure that you tell someone you love them. Or show care in your own special way. Because we need more good vibes in the world. Especially with all that's going on. And you know what? I'm not going to talk about any of those situations. Because like I said, I'd like to leave those at the door. If I address something, I'd like to say, you know, go and go back to that thing I said before. But the only thing I'll say about that issue is I've said basically all I need to say on that issue. As well as in the comment section of that same video that I made. Anyway, not to get sidetracked, we're in extreme. I'll see you later.